Justin Michael Bryan Thomas. They told me it came from Coach Paul Bear Bryant, Crimson Tide head coach. <laughs> You're something special. We don't want you to ever forget that. And since you are something special, then I know that you can win if you put a little extra into it every day. He is the definition of Alabama. We even named Justin, Justin Michael Bryant Thomas, if that gives you an idea. Was born into it, I guess you can say. Wow. Dad, he was a big Alabama fan, and that was all I knew. It stuck with me, and he grew from there. Justin Michael Bryant Thomas was born an Alabama fan with dreams of playing for the Tide. Because in the state of Alabama, football is king. Football is the king in this state. College football is our way of life on Saturdays, and high school football is our way of life on Fridays. As a high school quarterback, Justin electrified the offensive show for the 6A power, Prattville Lions. And he made them roar. Everything revolves around Prattville football. We've moved to Prattville because they had a great football program that was built. Justin's senior year, they were preseason number one team in the nation. Everything that Justin Thomas has ever done, he's been a winner at. Yeah, the rings are something that are great, uh, but I think the most important thing is, is when you put a ring on and you look at it, the memories come back. Make a play, you That's it, baby boy. The one thing that kind of trademarks Prival is the expectation. Our community expects our team to be good. They expect us to compete and work hard each year and, and go out there and win football games. One, two, three, donate! It's huge here, it's huge for communities, it's huge for bragging rights, no matter what the level is, either college, high school, or even down to your to youth league programs and junior high programs. With his dad as a youth coach, a young Justin Michael Bryant Thomas showed signs of legend. Whenever I was his head coach, we never lost a football game, never. Every time he touched the ball, he scored. Just growing up with him coaching me, you know, helped me see the bigger picture of things, even in life, you know, just, you can't just, you know, focus on one thing, but you gotta pay attention to all your surroundings. Ever since he was two or three, he held a football, that's all he knew the sports, and then he started playing football at the age of five, and that's all he knows, how to be a quarterback. You know, some people win and some people don't, but he's won on every level. A lot of kids grow up dreaming of playing in Alabama or Auburn in this state, and you know, you get that opportunity, that offer, it definitely is something special. Here, the SEC to a lot of kids that grow up here is like going to the NFL. When he reached that stage, it was kind of exciting. When you get, get a chance to be recruited, basically every school in the country is recruiting you. And these are some of the letters that Justin got from the, the teams over the years right here from people like Miami. Every school in the nation pretty much offer him the biggest rival, Georgia Bulldogs, Florida State. And there's a story behind that with Florida State. Um, you know, the Florida State actually, they came here. And it's about, I'm going to say it's pretty late at night. And they offered Justin an uh, official opportunity to be the quarterback at Florida State. And they told us Damian Craig had the head coach on the phone, and he told him, Justin, if you were a decommit from Alabama, that we would call Jamison and we would tell him that we got our quarterback. Then it gets to the point where the fun goes away when you try to disciple who's truthful, who's not truthful, and who's good for you, what school is not good for you. And if you look here in the bottom, 
he had his official letter from the University of Alabama as well. Justin was a guy that, you know, grew up and uh, wanted to play uh, at Alabama. And, uh, you know, he wanted to go there. Coach Saban was there. They were coming off national championship run, I believe. And uh, he was excited, very excited. Wanted to wear the colors, wanted to be on campus. And, and when that offer came, I believe on one of his first uh, visits, he decided to make that commitment. Nick Saban came to Prattville and he came to the school several times. One thing that stuck out to Justin is that Nick Saban told him, son, I'm recruiting you to be a quarterback. And it got back to him that Justin was not completely 100% satisfied with that. So he called us immediately. And we all as a family went back to his office. There was one thing Nick Saban mentioned that if it doesn't work out with you at quarterback, we can always move you to another spot. Coach Johnson told him, I'll never move you to another spot. It's not even up for discussion. And I think that was the defining line. All the way through is Justin kept telling people, I'm a quarterback. We sit down and we talked about it as a family. But that was perhaps one of the hardest things to do is to tell, first of all, Nick Saban, no. Secondly, Alabama, no. And then the opportunity to be a quarterback at the University of Alabama. Justin and his dad left uh, that day after he decommitted. And uh, before I think the uh, uh, son came up the next day, he had already committed to Georgia Tech. And he's been, he's been Georgia Tech through and through ever since. I knew he was going to the right place. I knew where he was going. Uh, he was going to get to play quarterback. He was going to get to prove who he was. And, and, uh, and I knew he was going to a place he could be successful. The thing that keeps going through my mind is that I knew that he had that ability, and now I'm glad that the nation get a chance to see what kind of player that he is. Justin has won a championship in every division, on every level, with the exception of college football and he's working on that. He's got ultra speed. He's got a very good instinct for the offense. And he understands the nuances of it. He's someone who's really tapped into that artistry of the triple option. He's transcended the physicality of it. And he's someone who can sit there calmly and make all the reads and make all the plays. And it's a, he's a pleasure to watch. He's an honor to play for him. It's just how quick he is. People think he's really, really fast, which he is, but people don't really understand how quick he is, how fast he can get out of a cut, how fast he can move side to side. It's pretty much up there with his straight ahead speed. His eyes are connected to his hands on a pretty short circuit. He tries to get better every day. He's, he listens. He's not one of the guys that got all the answers. and. Uh, it, you know, I think he tries to do what you ask him to do within the framework of being an athlete. And, uh, you know, that makes it a lot of fun to coach. To see him be successful, it doesn't surprise me. I've I, I seen it in high school football. Uh, to be proud that he's successful is what I'm more of. He came to me, he said, Dad, you know, I think I make the best decision by uh, coming here. Uh, he said, the people are different, the players are different, the coaches are different. He felt really strong that his decision was correct.